Welcome to my basement. Normally I'm doing wargaming videos, but today I thought I would do a video on my some of the 172 tank collection I have. Um, this is quite a bit of it. I mean, I would say it's about half maybe, maybe half to a third. I have about 330 models. And I just thought I'd show you some of the Soviet stuff and some Panzer threes and Panzer fours, as well as my, my small um, allied collection. But um, we'll start off over here. What we've got are some Soviet um, trucks that I painted. Um, I did not build these models, I bought them. Bought them from somebody that sold them at an estate sale. And sorry, the, it keeps working on the, um, the focusing. And those are some Soviet trucks. I did paint them all um, with regards to the trucks and the canvas. Uh, and almost and anything that's got a, a decal on it, I pretty much did the decal work and the shading work on anything that's out here. Um, some of these are old tanks that I bought many years ago, um, but most of them are part of a huge collection I bought from a guy that sold them to me on eBay. It was the son of a guy who had, I think he passed away and he had a, he was a war gamer. These are all pretty much made for tabletop. They're not collectors in terms of like, you know, professional painted. These are some some British tanks. And I did all the decal work in the painting. Sherman's. I got some Churchill's. I really love these Churchill's because I put a lot of work into those. And I got some more Sherman's back there. Another one of the vehicle I really like is, if I can get a good view of it, is the Katusha. The Sherman with the roller behind it, that's just it. Kid, I, that was just a um, one I bought at a store. It's pre painted and all that. And then I've got sorry, my focus keeps going in and out. This is later Soviet stuff here. So we've got some uh, Stalin tanks, heavier tanks, and all the detail as far as the um, decals. I did all the decal work and the shading. A lot of the work I did as far as the mud work and then the uh, and then the uh, the treads make them look like they've been on a battlefield before. And Soviet heavy tanks. I love these big ones too. They're just awesome. Awesome looking. Decal work was pretty easy. It wasn't hard. It's just once you do decals to make them look like they're they belong there or part of the vehicle. You really you gotta use you gotta um, you gotta use a dull coat on them, and it really makes them become part of the part of the vehicle. Now I'll get into my T thirty four collection. These are T thirty four eighty fives. They did all the work on the de decals on those. And these are other T thirty fours. The camo I did not do. It's from the guy that I bought them from. But anything that's detailed or got a decal on it on these Soviet tanks, I did the work on them. It's pretty cool looking. Some other T-34s over here. I got a couple of 172 scale minis I did. Can't really get good detail on the color, but there's a Cossack. I did not do him, uh, but the infantry, the machine guns, the guys with the PPSH, uh, you really can't get good detail on I did all that work, uh, spare time stuff when I'm not wargaming in my spare time. And then we'll get to the German stuff. We've got some Panzer threes here, a couple of recons, vehicles. Um, that vehicle right there, I did all that camo work. That was a long time ago, that's probably 15, maybe 16 years old. And we've got some Soviet T-34s that have been converted for German use. and. Put the uh, larger, I did not do the decal work. All these were painted, I painted these. Uh, these are Panzer threes, And then some Panzer threes with the skirting, I did all those. Back here you've got some Panzer fours. They need some work. And then some, uh, got a couple, you know, a lot of companies worth easy. And then some self-propelled guns. And that's going to do it for this version. If you like this video, let me know. I just wanted to kind of show the scale of the collection, give you guys an idea 
Um, that's the Germans. That's just the... Now, I've got Panthers. If you want to see the Panthers, the 88s, I've got a lot of anti-tank guns. Probably 300 infantry have painted on both sides, Russian, mostly Germans. Um, and some of them were part of the collection that I purchased as part of an estate sale. These are the Soviet tanks. Kind of a big overview. All 172 scale. The vast majority of these, 90% of them are models. They're not, you know, they're not quick, quick make. They're models. And so when I bought them and they were shipped, a lot of them got broken and I had to fix them. And I bought them about two years ago and I've just been fixing and dealing with them and just kind of a hobby. Putting them together for the last couple of years. Yeah, it just look pretty sweet. Well, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time on the battlefield. Thanks for watching.